What's up guys? Today we're doing a DIY and I am so excited. Did you guys think I wasn't gonna be sharing DIYs anymore? <laughs> Got another thing coming. I've been holding off on this for a while just because it has sweet potato in it and apparently sweet potato is very polarizing for some people. I don't know why, it's just, it's just, a, it's a vegetable. It's all good. I've been doing this since I first put my sweet potato video out there, but I didn't want to like rock the boat and just share it back to back. I was just like, let me just chill a little bit. I really want this to cool down. People are getting very upset about this potato, but I really wanted to come back and share this with you because I have been using this and I love it. It's like hair food for my hair. So this is going to be a hair mask but it's really like a shampoo alternative because it's a cleanser and i know a lot of people like co-washes but i really don't like co-washes so i kind of consider like this my way to co-wash using natural clays because natural clays naturally lift the dirt off of your scalp they are considered a cleanser if you guys have been watching this channel for a while you guys know that i love clay washes i've been doing them since like back in the day, probably like 2010. I like to mix different clays now, and now I've also been adding the sweet potato to that to add a little bit more moisture and then also for like a nutrient boost. So what I'm about to show you is my DIY shampoo alternative for the weeks when I don't want to use too much shampoo. Maybe I've been using it and I feel like my hair is stripped. It's kind of nice to kind of go back and forth between a clay wash and a shampoo to just kind of give your hair a little bit more moisture some nutrient blocks to build on some minerals vitamins you know and also when i'm done using this my hair feels it could be in my head it helps to thicken my hair a little bit and maybe that's a shikakai so maybe it's not in my head i'm not sure what i'm calling it but it's my diy conditioning clay cleanser co-wash with sweet potato shikakai fenugreek powder amla powder aloe vera juice like bro your hair is about to go to the spa. She's about to get fancy. She's about to get all gussied up. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I'll meet you back here after I show you how I put this together, um, just to show you what I did for this wash and go. All right guys, so just like all my recipes, this is customizable. So feel free to take out or substitute anything here. I'm using a one half cup of shikakai powder, one fourth cup of amla powder, one fourth cup of fenugreek powder, half a cup of sweet potato, and this one is just from a can. Your girl was in a rush, so I didn't bake it fresh, but you can, of course, and that's always a great idea. And then about one cup of liquid. Feel free to use whatever you like. I'm using aloe vera juice and water, but you can just use water if you want. Okay, so it's very simple. We're just gonna mix these ingredients together in a large non-metal bowl. This is ceramic. So first, the half a cup of shikakai powder. This is a medicinal plant powder that's been used for centuries in India. It's nutrient rich, full of vitamins and minerals that encourage hair growth. It's antiseptic and antifungal, meaning it's gonna help to soothe and revive an irritated scalp while helping to clear away dandruff. It helps to promote shiny hair, helps to detangle, strengthens your hair root, helping to reduce shedding. It's naturally pH balanced, and on top of it all, it's a great natural cleanser. So this is an awesome all natural shampoo alternative. Next up is the 1 4th cup of amla powder, another traditional medicinal and ayurvedic Indian plant powder. It's packed with amino acids, minerals, antioxidants, and vitamins. It encourages hair growth by increasing scalp circulation and strengthening the hair follicles to encourage less hair fall. It's also anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial, which helps to reduce dandruff, relieving irritation and itchiness, and helps to promote a healthy scalp environment for new hair growth. Oh, and it's also an amazing hair conditioner and cleanser. So Amla is another great shampoo alternative with great healing properties. Next up is one fourth cup of fenugreek powder. This Indian spice helps to strengthen the hair follicle as well as reducing hair loss and encouraging hair growth. Along with the other two powders mentioned, it helps to thicken, moisturize, and promote shine. One of my favorite features of fenugreek is the slip that it provides, which is always a treat for finger detangling in the shower. Oh, this bad boy right here? You guys know I love my sweet potato. We're adding at least one half cup of this bad boy. Along with the amla powder, sweet potato is full of vitamin C, which is one of the most important vitamins needed to produce collagen. Collagen is needed to build keratin, the main protein of your hair, skin, and nails. It also contains vitamin B5, which helps to reverse thinning hair, vitamin A, which helps to strengthen the hair, reducing breakage, 
while also encouraging sebum production to help moisturize the hair, keeping it healthy. This is one amazing vegetable and it tastes really good too. Lastly, our liquid of choice, aloe vera juice and water. And you can use as little or as much of this as you prefer to get the consistency that you like. I used a little over one cup of my mix. Aloe vera juice is one of my favorite liquids. It's strengthening, conditioning, reparative, and moisturizing. With essential minerals, vitamins, and amino acids that aid in healthy hair growth, complex carbs that help nourish your scalp and hair cells, relieving them of toxins, and powerful antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties that help to heal, treat, and prevent scalp irritation issues and dandruff. Its benefits are endless, and it's an ingredient that I always want to add to my DIYs wherever possible. So as you could probably guess, the next step is super simple. We're just going to mix everything together with a non-metal utensil, and I'm just using a waxing stick. And it's ready to use. When I'm applying this to my hair, I try to stay organized, applying it in small sections at a time. And quick tip, this process can get a bit messy, so it's a good idea to put a dark towel or rug on your floor to help catch any bits that might fall. So I'm just applying this one section at a time, making sure every strand is coated, hashtag no strands left behind, <laughs> and massaging it into my scalp as well. And I've added a bit of water to my spray bottle and I'm just spraying this on my hair to help the product slide on more smoothly. And as you're applying this, you're gonna notice that you're able to detangle your hair a bit. So if you want, you can use this time to do a little finger detangling as well. Okay, so that's it. My hair is completely coated, every strand is treated. I'm gonna allow this to get to work on my hair and scalp for about one hour and then I'll wash it out. Now you can let this dry on your hair without a plastic cap if you want, but I find it's easier to rinse off in the shower and creates less mess if I cover my hair with a plastic cap to avoid allowing it to dry out. Do what works best for you and whatever you prefer. Personally, I've done it both ways and I just like to keep it moist so that it doesn't dry out. Happy dance because I'm done. Here's a quick iPhone update of my hair after rinsing the treatment out in the shower. And yes, my shed hair on the wall in the back. Don't act like you don't do that. But my hair is nice and shiny, healthy, strong, and ready to be styled. Okay, so that was my hair right out the shower. As you can see, it's super shiny, very clean. So one thing I didn't show in the video, but I do want to mention is that after I rinse this clay mixture off of my hair, I like to go back in and do an apple cider vinegar rinse. So if this is like a bottle, just one part apple cider vinegar and then fill the rest up with water. And I just put it in a spray bottle and I just spray it around, just kind of work it in just to make sure you get all the clay off because clay can be kind of sticky. I styled it using the Melanin Hair Care products, the Twist Elongating Style Cream, and the multi-use per oil blend, which is my product line. If you guys didn't know, only use the Melon Hair Care products. As I mentioned, I used a different technique, which I will show you. Um, I can't show you right now. I'll show you uh, hopefully by December or January. We'll see. <laughs> like, I can't believe I haven't been doing my hair like this the whole time. Like my hair is transformed, okay? <laughs> Didn't think it could get better. That's the beautiful thing about natural hair journey. Like you're always finding new ways to use your products. You're always like learning new things about your hair. Just the fact that I'm like 10 years in here and I'm still like learning new things is super exciting. Do you see that? Look at this. 
high healthy hair. All right, that's it. <laughs> I missed you guys. I feel like I haven't posted in so long, but it's not goodbye. It is see you in the next video. Um, yeah. And if you give it a try, just let me know. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.